There we go. Hey, we're back on the dirt with riding with the right map and the coke can on the ground and another one and another one. Stupid litter bug. Too bad we're doing 30 miles an hour, so start to uh, lean over and pick those up. Although that is one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. And no one ever saw it. Actually, you might, might have thought, but I was on my mountain bike. And I was going slow in the campground and I leaned over while riding my motorcycle, kicking my leg out. And I leaned it. over and grabbed the trash off the ground. I truck, you said it here comes a truck. Bike. Here comes a truck. I was. I was on my mountain bike. Then what'd you say? You were leaning over on your motorcycle. Okay, fine. I have an editor on with me. On. <laughs> you know, when you're by yourself, you don't catch that. So yes, I was on my mountain bike, and I leaned over with my leg out, and I leaned over to the right, counterbalancing with my leg to the left, and I picked up the piece of trash off the ground. It was awesome. I've never been able to do that again. <laughs> Have you tried? Uh, I did try one time, yeah, and it was just way too scary. Woo! Gravelly, gravelly. Take that sure and turn sh slowly. And, oh, that's an interesting way to block the people from coming. You said this trail or road does not get much uh, traffic, apparently. Because it is like the... The vegetation is growing out really far, really close to the middle of the road. And then there's like these big rocks, big concrete things that people have put in the road to, to uh, cover up the potholes. <laughs> so we are right on the Virginia-Tennessee line. You good? Yep. All right, so now that your brother is graduated, you will be the only one in high school. Yep. You got a uh, band in the fall. Well, technically, I start band right after Utah. Well, that's true. After our trip west, he will be going to band camp. And then you've got soccer in the spring. And you have changed instruments. Oh, this is interesting. Let's see which way. we got to see if we stay on the, on the map here. So you used to be playing the saxophone. Yep. And what's we doing now? I am playing the tuba, or the marching the marching tuba. There's two kinds. There's the sousaphone, which is the one that wraps around you, and then there's a contra, which is what they use like in the professional stuff. But in the concerts? No, not, not in the concert, but while marching. Okay. Uh, what's the rocks? You you actually hold it out in front of you. And it's like it's like 40 pounds, but you're you're holding it like everybody else does, and you flip it up and you put it on your shoulder. Ah. Uh -huh. And I don't know if you've ever seen Central Dad, but they have contras. Yes, I've seen those before. So those are contras, and th I mean they're both tubas. They both make the same sound, but one is uh, one is for basically more professional uh, people who are more. Per I guess they cost more. So most of the time, the more professional more, people have more the, proficient with the instrument. Yeah. Uh, Slow down in that turn corner. Because you, I mean, it it takes a lot to add, to even hold it because it's you it'd be like taking a 40 pound weight and holding it with both hands out in front of you for the course of whenever you have to put it down. I mean, whenever you put it up, it's on your shoulder, so you don't really have to worry about it. Yeah. Oh, there's a nice little offshoot trail thing. That would be fun to explore. If I had traction on my rear. Oh, let's see, what does this say? That says Cherokee National Forest. There's a trail. Want to go up there? Oh, maybe not. Let me go check it out. Stay down here. Got it. Oh, that's a big... Well, yeah, we can do that. And there's dirt, there's dirt bike tires that have gone that way. Woohoo! I just did a little jump. Oh, but it's got a tree. We could make it under there, but man, we're in Cherokee National Forest. And there was no signs that said no motorcycles. Fun. Well, this will be a, a place to explore.
for sure. I could move that, especially with your help. But I think maybe we need to bring the brappet. <laughs> Woohoo! So check out this area. This is pretty cool. What you doing turning that thing off? I didn't turn it off. I know, I'm just seeing it. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Hold on. Beep. All right, there we go. Come on. I could hear you from down here, Dad. Woo! All right? Yeah, my back tire just, I was in the leaves. So ah. when I wanted to turn, my back tire, or my, my front tire didn't want to turn. Gotcha. This yeah. is awesome. I could hear you squealing from down here. You need to think, you need to think, riding man for introducing us to this area. Didn't know this was here. Definitely dual sport territory. 